Hello, Georgia B back again. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using the stamp set Celebrate with Flowers. I'm going to use the leaf, the little dragonfly, this flower with the things that go in the middle. Stamens. That. And some of this. Not all of it, just some of it. And also this sentiment, may your day be filled with sunshine. I'm also going to use the sentiment, wishing you a wonderful birthday on the inside, from Elegantly Said. Right, the card base, I've got a white card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth. A piece of white for the inside at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. I have got some designer series paper. Um, and I forgot the name of it. It's in the back of the catalogue. It's the hostess paper. So if you put in a qualifying order, um, you can get this paper, it's 48 sheets for it, and I shall tell you the name. There it is. It is Pattern Party 12 by 12 Designer Series Paper. And that's the one I'm using now. So we are going to use this side. I've also got the third die from the scalloped contour dies, like that, we're going to be stamping on it. And I've also got a piece of Melon Mambo, another colour I haven't used for a long time. And this is five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. And I've run this through the artist um, embossing folder. You can't see that there, like that. And that will sit on top with that on there, like that, and our flowers. So to get started, we will need to. Well, I was going to say I thought I hadn't cut that down then. Let's just stick that on there while we think about it. Put some over the middle of the card to, because it's embossed, it needs a little extra help of sticking. Right, put that to one side now. Now we're going to get on with, oh, I never give you the size of this paper. It is four inches by two and a quarter. Four inches by two and a quarter. All right, this actually measures, what does this measure? Three and three quarters by two and a half. All right, now then we need a piece of Use this. Um, what's this? Post it note. What we're going to do is just post off a bit of the bottom because we're going to use a long stamp and I don't want it coming off the bottom of this rectangle. And this is the leaf bit. And I'm going to be using smoky slate. On the other one, I used basic grey and I thought it was too dark. So this one, we're going to use Smoky Slate and I'm going to take this right up there. Like that. And keep that out. Because we need to stamp another leaf. Look at that on there. 
Now this is what you call being cheap. Perfect. And oh, I stamped. Oh no, I stamped it in Madame Mamba. I only need one leaf because I have got one already cut out. I've also cut out the dragonfly and two flowers, so we need another flower. I did need that. So, with melon mambo and the half a flower, I've got another little scrap here, which I've got to put down like that. And we need melon mambo for the sentiment. I think I'll get it on there. Now that one. I've picked this one up so I might as well use it as the one for inside. Oh. Wishing you a wonderful birthday, that'll do. And that measures one and three quarters by one and a quarter, which is sentiment. Right, what have I got left to do? All oh, the stamens on this one. With some smoky slate. Ah, place the stamens down. Right, all we've got to do now is just cut these two out. As you can see, I'm not moving the scissors, I'm just moving the, ooh, I need to cut that one off, moving the card, so easy to cut these out, there's one, and then this leaf, Which again is another easy cut. She says dropping it. To make loads of loads, three personal birthday cards this week. I have a grandson who's turning 21 on the 16th, and I have a great grandson who we haven't met yet. It will be one on the twenty second. There we are. And who else is oh a sister. Her birthday's on the seventeenth. Oh. 
who I haven't heard from since the pandemic started. I know she's alive. I've seen a comment on Facebook. <laughs> right. Let's get all this together now. Stick this. Paper down. And I'm just placing it to the left in the middle. Like that. Um. What did I do? Right, I am going to put this flat this time. That's what I should have done last time. But I didn't. I stuck everything on here and then put this up on dimensionals. Whereas this time I want to... Put the little bits up on dimensionals. One leaf will go flat, and this leaf, the top one, can go on dimensionals like that. But the rest only need one on each. dimensionals on the next card be using all the scraps now the dragonfly I'm actually not going to put it where it was on the other one that was put there for the simple fact that when I laid one of these down I hadn't done this up high enough there was a bit of a gap so that's why I put the dragonfly there you all think it's a bit of a branch when it's not my flowers put this leaf down flat and this one on dimensionals And a little dragonfly I'm going to put in this corner. Coming down from the wherever it's come from to fly into the flowers. And this I'm going to sit right there. And all we've got to add is some gems. And I just put little silver ones on. So I'll put two there and there. One there 
and one there. That's we got my five on. Got to have an odd number. Right. That is my card. Did, oh no, I didn't stick it in. No, it's not my card. Hang on. That's my card. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.